Okay. Ooh. All right, you guys, welcome to class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so today we're going to be focusing on standing on one foot or sitting with just one foot for support. Okay, so as always, I'm going to give you options if you're going to stay seated the whole time. You're really going to be focusing on your seated balance. So if you are seated the whole time, you can think about maybe being a little more forward. The more you're on the edge of that seat, the more you're going to be challenging your balance, especially if you're sitting with just one foot down on the floor for support. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And I'll give you, as always, options to do all of the exercises seated or standing. So we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. Then we've got two strengthening exercises, one for our arms, one for our legs. And then we're going to go into six exercises, working on our balance, standing or sitting on one leg. Sound like a plan? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right, you guys, let's get warmed up. Sitting up nice and tall, please. Let's take a nice deep breath in and arms go way up over your head. Big stretch and reach. And then let those arms come down. Good, let's do that two more times. Nice deep breath in. Arms go way up, big stretch and reach. And then come down. Let's do one more. Arms go up. Good, big stretch and reach. And then let them come down. Good, sitting up nice and tall again. Let's turn your head all the way to one side. And back to the middle again. And then turn your head all the way to the other side. And back to the middle again. Shoulders, take them up to your ears and back down again. Big shoulder shrug. Right. It actually feels like fall weather outside. I got a little worried this weekend because it was like summer. The season's got mixed up. Although the leaves are beautiful. All right, you guys, let's take it into a big backwards arm circle. Are you ready? So now going backwards. You okay, you guys? That chair bitchy. All right, roll those arms back, really opening up. Remember this, because our first strengthening exercise is going to be backwards arm circles only. This is just a preview. It's going to be harder when you do our strengthening. Good. You have enough room there, Delphine? You want me to move that chair a little bit? Yeah, I'll come over. All right, let's do three more of these. Oh, she's got it. Two more. And last time. Nice job. Okay, arms up in front, and you're going to reach one arm way across your body, trying to reach one side of the room, come back to the middle, and then turning and going in the other direction. Good. So I want a little rotation. Good. Nice. Little rotation. Good. Keep going. Little rotation. Cross your body. Good. Get that spine warmed up. Really stretching and reaching as far as you can. Good. Nice. Good. Four more of these. One. Two, three, last time, four, nice job. All right, sitting up nice and tall, elbows bent at 90 degrees. We're just going to be lifting your arms up and down. Good, just getting those shoulders real warmed up before we get started. Good. Woo, nice. Every time you lift those shoulders or those elbows up, you need yourself growing a little bit taller. Little taller. Good. Use that opportunity to sit up a little straighter. Up. Nice. Up. Well done. Let's do five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last time. Good. Switch it to our legs. Nice low high march. Low high march. 
Good. Low high bars. Beautiful. Guys are looking good today. Good. Low high bars. Nice job. All right, you guys ready? We're going to speed it up if you can. Taking that march into a jog. You guys ready? Let's go. Take it up if you can. Get that heart leg up a little bit. Run it out. Nice. Just going as fast as you can. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Hamstring can quad. Let's start with that right leg. Take it all the way out in front and then pull it back under your chair. Out and in. Good. Out and in. Nice. Out and in. Toes and heels. Toes and heels. Good. Toes and heels. Good. Nice job, you guys. Last two on this side. Last time, switch to the other leg. Toes and heels. Heels out in front. Toes underneath that chair. Toes and heels. Good. If my speed doesn't work for you, you go with your own speed. You know what's best for you. All right. Last time. And stop. Nice job, you guys. Nice job. All right. First strengthening exercise. We're going to stay seated. We are doing backwards arm circles. So we're, we're doing three rounds. Arms are going to be out to the side, and we're going to start very small, small and fast, small and fast. Then we're going to take a little break, and we're going to do slightly bigger. And then we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to finish with really big arm circles. So this is going to start out feeling easy, and by the end of the third round, your shoulders should be, you know, feeling the pain a little bit. Okay. What we're working on here is our posture. So we're working on those muscles between our shoulder blades and our back that help us sit up straight. So while you're doing those backwards arm circles, I really want you to be sitting up as tall as you can. So before we even start, get into a good position. Sitting up as tall as you can. If you can, sitting with your, with your back off of the um, back of the chair. All right, you guys, let's do it. Okay, Woo, arms up, long as you can get those arms, and let's circle, small and fast. Good. Nice, and remember, start off easy. And then you get kind of tired. So I'm kind of watching your faces for signs of suffering. Y'all know I like a little bit of suffering. A little bit. A little bit of suffering. Anybody suffering yet? A little bit. All right, keep going. We're almost there. Nice. Five. Four. Three. Two. And take a little break. Nice job, you guys. Take those arms out. Reset your posture. We're going to make your circles just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger this time. Round two. You ready? Arms up. Let's circle. Slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Nice. Remember that posture. Sitting up tall off the back of your chair if you can. That's the goal if you're able to. Nice. Keep going. Slightly bigger. We got this. We got this. Hang with me. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Whoosh, 
shake it up, shake it up. Cause we got one more round. Last set, best set. Lightly bigger with the arm circles. Lightly taller with that posture. I love it. I love it. Everybody sitting up tall. You guys ready? Last set, best set. Here we go. Little bit bigger. Maybe uh, volleyball size now. Volleyball size. We started off with ping pong. We went to tennis ball. We worked our way up to volleyball circles. Volleyball size circles. Nice. Y'all should be feeling this. You should be saying nice things about me under your breath right about now. Keep going. Keep going. We're almost there. This is it. No more arm circles after this. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Woo, that was good. That was good. Y'all did great with that. Woo. All right. Second strengthening exercise. This one's for our legs. You can do this in sitting or in standing. We're going to be doing heel raises. So if you're in sitting, you're just lift, popping those heels up off the ground. Popping them up off the ground. Good, that looks nice, that looks nice. All right, if you're in standing, we're gonna come and stand behind your chair or have a chair in front of you. And you're gonna be doing heel raises using that chair for some support. Okay, so let me grab a chair for you. All right. If you're going to join in standing, go ahead and get that chair so it's in front of you. Or you can definitely do this in sitting as well. All right, everybody who's in standing, gonna join me. All right. All right. Three rounds. Three rounds. I have the chair beside me. Just so you can see. Three rounds. First round. We're just kind of going straight up and down. We're just going straight up and down. Yep. Just getting those, getting those, uh, those calf muscles warmed up. Second round, we're going to go fast up, slow down. You're going to go up and then kind of lower yourself down to the ground. Up and then lower yourself down. Last round, we're going to do some elevators. So we're going to go up, up. What? I'm losing my balance. Down, down. Okay? So it's, it, there's a little pause there, kind of like you're going up an elevator and then back down again. All right. Lana, do you want me to swing that chair around so you can, you're facing me? All right, you guys. Three rounds. First round, we're just going straight up and down. Okay, you guys ready? Round number one. We're just going up and down. Just getting the feel of the movement. Getting those calf muscles warmed up. Make sure you got your balance. Good. This is another one, kind of like those arm circles. These are two two exercises that pair well together because they, this is another one that starts off easy and then woo, your calf muscles start burning after a while. All right. So I'm, I'm looking again for those signs of suffering because we could do this a long time or we could do it a short time depending on how quick your calf muscles wear out. What do you think? Five more? Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, and last time. All right, little rest break, little rest break. Shake those legs out. Round two, we're going up fast, and then we're going to slowly lower down, okay? So quick against gravity, and then really make your muscles work to control you on the way down. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Quick up, slow down. Quick up, slow down. You guys look great. Quick and slow and controlled. Quick, slow and controlled. Good. Quick, slow and controlled. 
You guys know I'm a big fan of making your muscles work at different speeds, right? That's what we're doing here. In life, we gotta move at different speeds, so we might as well exercise the way we move, right? Quick and slow. It's gonna be three more. Quick and slow. Last two. Quick and slow. Last time. Quick and slow. Good. All right. Short breath break. Last set, best set. We're doing those elevators where we go up, up, down, down. Two floors on our, on our elevator today. All right. You guys ready? This is it. Last set of the heel raises. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Good. Up, up, down. March, March, hold 
two, three, lock high. March, march, and hold, two, three, and stop. Nice. Beautiful job, you guys. Beautiful job. So just know if you felt really, if you were holding onto the chair and you felt really confident with that, maybe when we do our second round of all of these exercises, maybe you try using that chair for a little less support. Maybe just a finger instead of a whole hand. It's up to you. You know where you are today. So you want to provide yourself with just that right amount of challenge, right? So you're safe, but you're still working hard. All right. Second exercise, we're going to tap around the clock. We're going to tap around the clock. So you're going to tap 12, 6, or 12, 3, 6. I don't even know my clock. And then we're going to switch feet. 12, 9, 6. So just like tapping around to the, to the big points on the clock, all right? And obviously, if you're in sitting, you're going to be doing the same thing. It'll be a little easier if you're closer to the edge of your chair. You're going to tap out in front, side, back underneath your chair, and then switch out, side, and back. So these are light taps. These are not steps, right? You just want to lightly get that foot down on the ground. So you can see my weight's not shifting. I'm just lightly tapping my foot all the way around. So I'm really working on, there's just that foot's just there for a little bit of balance. Okay. All right, you guys, 90 seconds going on the clock. All right, here we go. Tap it. 12, three, and six, other foot. 12, three, and six. Good. 12, 3, and 6. Good. If you're feeling better about your balance today, this is a good exercise to try taking maybe your hands off the chair. Because that foot's never that far away. You're standing on one foot, but that second foot kind of almost ready to tap down at any time. So this is a good kind of intermediate step between standing on one foot fully and standing on two feet. This is right in the middle of that. Good, all the way around. So really light tap, really work on just light little taps with that foot. Good. Well, three and six. Again, well, three and six. Nice job. Well, three and six. Let's go around one more time. Well, three and six. Last time. Well, three, and six. Nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. Woo! Okay. Next exercise. Next exercise. We are truly going to be standing on one foot this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some arm and leg lifts. So you're going to be doing an arm lift and a leg lift, and then we'll put it back down. And we're going to stay on the same side for 45 seconds and then we'll switch. So obviously if you're in sitting, you're doing exactly what Dawson is doing. You're just doing an arm and leg lift. Now, if you want to add a little bit of extra to that, remember those heel raises that we did in warm or in our strengthening section? You can go up on go up on one heel and then come back down again. You can do that in sitting too. A lot of coordination, a lot of balance, but you can do it. That's a, that's a bonus. You don't have to do that. Nice job, Bobby. That looks good. All right, so we're going to do 45 seconds on one side. Slower is better. So I want nice and controlled. If you speed through it, it's actually going to make it makes it a little easier. So try to try to be controlled with this. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. OK. 
Okay, where's our time? And here we go. We got 45 seconds. One arm and leg, go up and then come back down again. Good, and then come back down. Almost like you're reaching for something off a high shelf, and for some odd reason, you decide to go up on one foot to do it. I don't recommend that, but we're kind of doing the very hardest version of reaching for something on one shelf. Or maybe if you were going to happen to climb a ladder, which I also don't recommend. This would be the first thing that you would do. Boy, my examples are terrible today, aren't they? Nice. Good. We're almost there. Last time on this side. Good. Let's switch. We're going to go to the other side. Good. Other side. Nice. Up on one foot. Good. Going slow. Try to pause up there. Nice. I'm seeing a couple people getting nice now. I'm seeing a couple people getting up on those toes with that big reach. Good, you guys. Three more. Two more. And last time. Target job. Nice. All right, you guys, that was three out of six exercises. Three out of six. Okay. Second exercise is a little, a little along the lines of our clock tap. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some circles on the floor with your feet. So it's kind of taking those clock taps and bumping it up, making it just a little bit harder because you really, you don't get as much contact with the floor. Right? So you can make it a little easier by actually touching the floor, or you can have your foot just above the floor. Just above the floor. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to add an arm sweep. So we're going to do this. So it's going to be a leg sweep and an arm sweep. Good. You guys look great. We're going to try alternating. Because alternating is, again, just a little bit harder. Okay? So if you don't feel comfortable alternating those arms, then just do the feet for me. Just do the feet. If you really feel like, oh, I want to keep a hand on that chair the whole time, just do the feet. And obviously, if you're in sitting, it's the same thing on the edge of your chair. And I want some big sweeps. Kind of, kind of just hover that toe right over the floor. Hovering that toe right over the floor. You guys look awesome. All right, this is exercise number four. Coming your way. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's sweep arms and legs. Alternating sides if you can. Good. Nice job, you guys. Keep going. Beautiful. Trying to hover those toes right over the floor. Think ballerina. Think being graceful. Being in control. Nice job, you guys. We're halfway through. Good. You guys look amazing. I love it. This one's a word. <laughs> Nothing easy about these sweets. This one's probably the hardest one we got. Anytime we're asking you to be really precise and stand on one foot, it's hard. We're almost there, you guys. Hang with me 10 seconds. Hang with me 10 
10 seconds. Nice job. Four, three, two, and we're done. Nice job, you guys. That was awesome. I'm really impressed. Very impressed. Okay, you guys, two more exercises. Two more exercises. We're doing great. Next, we're gonna we're gonna spread our stance out a little bit. We're gonna do a squat and then a slow lift with a little hold. Then we'll do a squat and then we're gonna do a lift on the other side. So if you're sitting, instead of doing those squats, you're gonna give me a big chair sit up and then a lift. Right? So I got a chair sit up and then a lift. Okay, got your seated option. All right. All right, here you guys go. Wider stance for me, wider stance. You ready? Let's do a squat. And then a hold. Good. Squat. And hold. We're in slow motion here. Both with the squat and with that hold. Don't rush through this. Squat or lean. And hold. Beautiful, you guys. Water lean. And hold. Well done. Water lean. And hold. Nice, you guys look amazing. Squat. And hold. Good. Squat. And hold. Good. We got 25 more seconds. We're almost there. Nice. Squat. And hold. Beautiful job. Squat. And hold. We got just two more. Let's do two more. Squat. And hold. Last time, you guys. Squat. And hold. Nice job. Nice job. All right, you guys, last exercise. Last exercise. This time we're going to do a sustained hold. So we're going to stay up on one foot. Okay, and we're going to do some reach and row. So this is this is challenging on your balance. So a reach and a row. And obviously the farther forward you're tipping, you could just stay here and that would be fine. Or if you need two hands on that chair, that's fine too. But the farther forward you reach, the, the more you're going to challenge your balance. Okay? If you're in sitting, you're going to hold that leg up there and you're going to give me a reach and a row. A reach and a row. You could do a double arm reach and row. Okay? Double or single arm reach and row. All right, you guys, we're going to do 45 seconds on one leg and then we'll switch and do the other side. This is our last exercise before we do our six minute final round. All right. We got this. All right, here we go. Everybody up on one foot. And then you're going to give me a reach and a row. Reach and a row. And you're just leaning as far as you feel comfortable. Yeah, I want you to be reaching to a distance that challenges you a little bit, but where you're still safe, right? Great and row. So we got 10 more seconds on this side. And then we're going to switch to the other leg. 
Reach and row. Good. Last reach on this leg. Perfect. All right, let's switch to the other leg. Y'all are going to see if I can do this without holding on. Woo. I don't know. Reach and row. Everybody else, hold on, please. Oh, no. Reach and hold on. Everybody else, hold on. My chair is just in the wrong place. Good. Reach and row. If you need two hands on that chair, you put two hands on that chair for me, okay? Good. Reach and row. We're on that show. 15 seconds. Reach and row. You may not have any lean. Woo, this is hard. Three, two, and last time. Go! I don't know. I think it's a toss up. Which do you guys think was tougher? The, the circles or this one? That one. That one. I, I think you're right. You do. You do. Anytime you're standing on one foot and you add that lean, that's really, really challenging. You guys did a beautiful job with that. All right. We are nearing the end of class. Nearing the end of class. We got our six minute round here at the end. Oh, all right, so we're going to do all six exercises again. One minute each, one right after the other. I'm not going to give you any breaks. If you need to take a break, you take one, okay? So just to remind you, we're going to start with that march, march, hold. That's going to be our first exercise. Our second one is that tapping around the clock. The third one is the reaching up overhead, one arm, one leg. Number four are those sweeps. Number five are our squat lifts. And then we're finishing with those, those forward reaches on one foot. Okay? All right, six minutes going on the clock. Here we go. Let's start. Here we go. We're doing a march, march, hold. Good. March, march, hold. March, march, hold. Nice job. Again, march, march, hold. Very nice. March, march, hold. Good. March, march, hold. March, march, hold. Last time. March, march, and hold. Nice job, you guys. Exercise number two. Let's tap it around the clock. Here we go. Forward, back, and all the way back. Good. Forward, side, and back. Forward, side, and back. Good. And we're alternating ways. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Good. I forgot we did one side versus the other when we did this the first time. Good. Forward, side, and back. Nice job, you guys. 30 more seconds on this one. Forward, side, and back. Well done. Forward, side, and back. Couple more. Forward, side, and back. Last time. Forward, side, and back. Nice job, you guys. Okay, we're going into that overhead reach with your arm and your leg. You guys ready? Here we go. Big reach. Let's stay on one side for 30 seconds. And then we'll switch. I'll try to, try to be consistent here. Good. All on one side. Woo! Nice, you guys. You can 
a lot of work today. I'm, I'm, I can feel it in my calves. You guys are awesome. Good. All right, let's switch to the other side. Big reaches. Nice. And remember, this heel raise that I'm doing, that's optional. That's a lot of bonus. We already wore out the calves. So I put really hard on your balance to go up on those toes. So it's just if you want to. Good, let's do two more. One. And two. Nicely done, you guys. We're going into those sweeps, alternating sides. So sweeping on one side and then the other side. Big sweep. You okay? Big sweep. So just do it with your legs if you need to hold on with two hands to that chair. This one's tough on your balance. Yep. Don't even worry about the arms. The arms are optional, right? I'm really concerned about the leg. About sweeping the floor with your toes. Nice, light sweep. And then if you can that in the arms, that's optional, right? So keep both hands on the chair if you need to. Good, you guys. We got 10 more seconds of this. And then we're going into our squat. Two more. And last time. Good. All right, put a little space between your feet, whether you're sitting or standing. All right, you guys ready? Let's do a nice slow squat. Or a lean. And then a, and then a lift. Good. So if you're sitting, you're giving me a sit up. And then a lift. Nice. Good. So if you're sitting, you're doing a sit up instead of a squat. And then everybody's doing that leg lift. Nice job, you guys. You got this. You got less than two minutes of work left. Good. We're there. We can do hard things, right? And I know that we can because we're doing them. I don't even have to prove it because I got the proof in front of me. Last time with the squat. Good, we're done with the squat, you guys. Last exercise. We're sitting or standing on one foot and give me a reach and then come back. So if you're balanced, if you're getting tired, don't even do a lean. Just do a forward lead reach. And, and just try to stay on one foot the whole time. I just want to see you steady on one foot. I just want to see you steady on one foot. And then if you're still feeling good, you can make it a little harder. But you don't have to. We're about ready to switch feet. In three, two, one. Last 30 seconds, standing on the other foot or sitting with the other foot up in the air and giving me some reaches. So hold that foot up there and give me knee some reaches. I'm not even going to attempt leaning, but you can. Good. Nice job. Up on one foot, you guys. We're almost there. Stay on that foot for 15 more seconds. I love it. I love it. And I'm seeing a good modification in the corner over there. Someone's got two feet on the ground and doing her lean. I love it. Three, two, one, you guys. All right, you guys, nice job. Everybody find your chair. Well done. Well done. Okay. All right. We have a little bonus section here. We got a couple extra minutes in class. And we got a bonus section. We got a bonus section. All right. This is thanks to my exercise assistant. She's unpaid and doesn't get the recognition she deserves, but she comes up with brilliant exercises. So we're going to finish with a little bonus section working on some rotation and active range of motion. So we're going to sit with our feet apart. We're going to start with our arms out in that T, and you're going to slide your arms down to one toe. So one arm is reaching down and the other arm is reaching up, 
And then we're gonna finish sitting up tall with our arms back in that T. So, and then we're gonna do it to the other side. So we're sliding down and then we're sitting up. So we're working on good rotation, big stretches through those shoulders, and then finishing between each repetition and a, with really good posture and as much of a T as we can get, right? So just a little bonus round for active range of motion, good spinal mobility, and good posture. And then we're going to cool down. All right, you guys ready? Bonus section starting now. Everybody start out in that T position. Good. Let's slide one hand down and then see if you can look up at that other hand that's reaching up to the ceiling and then go to the other side. Good. And then starting and ending in that good T position. Nice. Good job, you guys. Beautiful. So really working again, we're working on a little active range of motion here. So getting a big stretch and as much rotation through that spine as you can. If you haven't already been doing it, see if you can turn and look at that hand that's reaching up towards the ceiling. Good. All right, you guys, we got some more of these. Make them good. One. Sit up tall. Two. Sit up tall. Three. Sit up tall. Four. Sit up tall. Five. Sit up tall. Last time. Six. Sit up tall, hold it. Final hold. Be as tall as you can. Five, four, three, two, and ten. Ooh, great job, you guys. Give yourself a round of applause. That was awesome. Awesome job, you guys. Well done. Well done. Whew. I feel really, I feel nice and loose. I loved our little bonus section at the end. All right, you guys, let's do a little bit of stretching to finish up. Get to the edge of your chair. Sit up nice and tall. Don't lose that posture just because we're cooling down. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Arms go way up. And then float those arms down. Good. Again, nice deep breath in. And then float those arms down. Let's do one more and hold your arms up there. Big stretch, reach toward the ceiling. Try to lengthen your spine a little bit. Good, all right, now drop one arm and then lean over. Good, let's go to the other side. Nice job. Come back to the middle again. Roll your shoulders back. Woo! Open and up. Good. Two. And last time. Nicely done. All right, let's round forward. Stretching your arms towards the other side of the room, rounding that back. And then go the opposite direction. Open up wide into an exaggerated T. Good, let's round forward again. And then reverse that, really stretching and opening up that T. Go bigger than you did. Let's do that one more time. Round forward. And then reverse that T, really opening it up, getting that T as big as you can. Good. Bring those arms down. Sit up tall. Last X, last stretch. Reach around. Try to turn and look behind you. Good. Come back to the middle and go the other direction. Good. 
good. Come back to the middle again. Stretch one line down in front. Reach forward towards your toes a little bit if you can, stretching out the back of your legs. All right, good. Bring that leg in. Stretch the other leg out in front. Get those knees straight and reach forward. Good job, you guys. All right, sit up nice and tall. Lift one leg off the floor. Circle that ankle around. Just try to get that ankle to move as much as you can. I don't really care what direction. I just want it to move if you can. See if you can get that ankle a little bit looser than it was before you came in. Good. Three, two, and good. Let's switch and do the other side. Move that ankle around as much as it'll go. Okay. I'll go let him All right, you guys. Three, two, and one. You guys are done. Give yourself another round of applause. Nice job today. Way to come in and work hard on your balance. I am super pleased. You guys did an amazing job.